Hello, yes, Independence Day. <clears throat> July the 4th, election day in the UK. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sat here in a car park and I just saw somebody wearing a mask, pushing a shopping trolley in the west of Ireland. It's like I missed a meeting. What's going on is, uh, you know, I have been talking about this for four years and it's sometimes difficult to get on video and to, to know where to pitch what it is that you're thinking of. So what I'm thinking of this week or today in particular is to do with the invisible enemy. Who is the invisible enemy? So I just had an experience at the weekend where my daughter, my 16 year old daughter went to a festival in Dublin, which is a two, two and a half hour drive from where I am. And I got a call from the medical tent on Sunday afternoon so we have your daughter in the medical tent. She's not making any sense. She's all over the place. And this is not the kind of behavior my daughter would do. And so and they said, you need to come and get her. So I jumped in the car and I drove immediately. And I got there and she'd escaped from the tent. And uh, I'd also had a phone call on the way from another person in the medical tent saying they were going to call the guards. That's the police in Ireland uh, because she was being violent towards them. We're talking about my 16 year old daughter violent towards them anyway got there and she'd escaped and they couldn't find her Forty thousand people at this festival i found out where she was eventually after three hours of waiting for somebody to find her they wouldn't let me in to look for her and uh, it turns out that she was spiked and she was with her friends she was safe and she got home safely but as a father there's somebody out there who went to that festival who i want to murder but I don't know who it is, and I'm never gonna know who it is. It's horrific. It's a, a horrific scenario for any parent. And I'm sure some of you watching this would have been through the same situation. But it's kind of got me thinking about the state that the world's in at the moment, and they, it's the invisible enemy. You know, we're in the middle of a movie. There's no question, if you watch the Trump-Biden debate the other night, they're both acting. Yeah, and one of them is definitely uh, not the original human being. Joe Biden's been gone for four years. And that's a wonderful thing that came out of that debate is that people who not been paying any attention, who know they're going to vote soon, and they, they will watch the presidential debate and they'll have seen that. And that's very interesting because, you know, that guy's supposed to be the most powerful guy in the world. <laughs> Hello, McFly. And then you've got this election in the UK. And I did a video about whether it'd be interesting if they, Nigel Farage became prime minister, that would be interesting. How's that possible? Probably not. But um, the Tories are destroyed and Keir Starmer is probably gonna be anointed because they get anointed. We don't vote for anybody. He'll be anointed. And I think they've chosen him because I do believe the good guys are in control of this or all the military are in control of this and they're working on behalf of the good guys. Who are the good guys? God basically cut a long story short um because it's it does it just stands to reason doesn't it if there's this much evil that we're all seeing in the world there has to be good it's just logical i came to this conclusion a long time ago um because we're eternal spirits having a human existence it doesn't really matter if i'm wrong because the only weapons they really have against us are fear of death Right? which is what COVID's been all about on a spiritual level. Who's afraid of dying? I took my chances along with millions of others on the fact that God created an immunity system that works. And if, you know, four years later, I don't see many excess, excess deaths happening in the unvaccinated population, do you? So look, we're in the middle of this irregular war and all of the things that we're seeing are really working in terms of waking people. It's not very, it's not, it's not a lot of fun. I'm not saying it's fun, but, but anybody watching this who's like, Rawr! the bad guys are in control, they're going to kill us. No, they were supposed to, we were supposed to be all dead in 2017. Go and read the project for the new American century. Look at the 16 year plan. Look at the, Obama and Clinton were, Clinton was supposed to win in 2016. She's, she's a child murderer. So, I mean, just look at the Clinton body count. That's just that's just part of it. You know, it's much worse. Go and look up Frazzle Drip. 
Well, don't. If you're a nervous disposition, it will freak you out. Um, Twitter account called Val Thor, short for Valiant Thor, which is a big story in and of itself, um, posted a bit about Frazzle Drip the other day. I don't think I reposted it. I, I would recommend caution if you do approach that material, but that stuff's real. Pizzagate is real. People are, who watch me on Twitter and stuff say, no, it isn't. It's a psyop. No, it's real. The world has been run by a massive ring of satanic pedophores. The EU, the Nazis, not the Nazis, not, you know, the real Nazis, the ones that were in Ukraine, the ones that were in Antarctica, these are the, these are the satanic pedophores, pedophores, the Saxe Coburg family, for fuck's sake. The Windsors are the Saxe Coburgs. They changed their name in 1917 because of the public opinion against Germany. I mean, everything's been, everything's a lie. You just got to remember everything is a lie. And the only thing that matters is you connecting to how you are connected to your creator. And that means don't wear a fucking mask when you go shopping, you idiots. They do, oh, four years later, and people are still doing it. It's mind, it's mind blowing, but you gotta keep chipper. Keep chipper and just remember it's uh, God wins. And you are a fractal of God, which means we win. And it's uh, taken a long time, I know. It's frustrating, I know. But you are loved and you're not alone. And you never will be. And you never have been. So have a wonderful 4th of July, whatever you're doing.